<laughs> okay, guys. Uh, we had a super exciting breakthrough, and um, I'm excited to share it with you. So let me just uh, show you first. So um, let's just say scrape all the product prices and descriptions. And I could have also said like prices, reviews, and titles, and descriptions, or whatever I wanted. But th that's not really the cool thing. Uh, the cool thing is we just had a huge breakthrough in Product Atlas where we figured out a compression technique to compress the HTML of websites down 95%. And this allows us to fit the context window of all websites into the 8K context window of GPT-4. Uh, and that's cool. That's, that's interesting. Um, so it's actually generating... Um, the website, the automation here on the fly based on the context of the HTML, which is amazing. That's something we've been working on for a year. Uh, but we also just had another great discovery. Um, okay, you're going to see what's going to happen, basically. Uh, so the 8K context window is still a limitation for the complexity of the automations. So that's great for automating sim symbol, sim like sing single websites because now most websites seem to fit using our new compression technique within the context window. But what if you wanted to automate things of unlimited complexity? Introducing org GPT. We figured out, out, out a way to have chat GPT spin up unlimited new workers to accomplish tax, tasks of unlimited complexity, including automations or building products. Um, and this allows it to basically bypass the eight, eight K context window, which typically limits it to like maybe one website or something like that. So now we can, yes, compress all websites within the context window, but also now go beyond and link automations into new workers that spin off new workers if they need to on the fly, uh, based on the actual context of the problem it's solving, uh, and solve problems, automations, products of unlimited complexity. Uh, and you can see here, I just asked it for the prices and descriptions, and it's building it. But look at this. The code that it's generating on each of these workers is slightly different. So you can actually tell these are all different workers that are being spun up on the fly to solve this problem completely dynamically based on the HTML. Mind-blowing, okay? So for several reasons, because when we first started Cheat Layer, you might remember early users, we manually onboarded all the early users, hundreds of them, and we walked them through building this Amazon automation uh, manually using our no-code tools, a drag and drop no-code tools, and that was the fastest way you could do it then, using no-code tools. And it took about 20, 30 minutes to build the whole thing. This literally just built it for us in one minute, entirely based on the context of the website, on the fly for us. Uh, and And... It was custom tuned to what we wanted. We wanted prices and descriptions. The, the other cool thing is that since it's building the automation on the fly, it solves the problem of websites with changing designs and dynamic selectors and things like that, which typically would break all other automation tools because when this website updates, the automation breaks. This automation is getting generated on the fly at the time of runtime. So we call this Project Atlas Agents. Um, we call this new technology that allows us to link unlimited workers together, org GPT. Uh, so this is a new, cool new framework. Um, basically, we taught chat GPT how to build organizational structures, just like humans might need to, to build tasks of unlimited complexity that one person might not be able to handle. So... We figured out a way to teach it to do flat organizations or hierarchical organizations and basically scale up to problems of unlimited complexity. And you can kind of teach it how to pass the data efficiently and things like that. And if you can keep each step within 8K, it works just like a normal organization, like a human organization. Except now it's actually building automations completely on the, fr on the fly. Mind-blowing stuff. Okay, so... We'll also be able to build products like this. You can imagine it could build like entire products and things like that of complexity, maybe even electronics of unlimited complexity one day. And anyways, okay, we're super excited for this next week because this means that users can now help us discover these automations on all websites. Previously, the roadblock and the bottleneck for us was 
freelancers or software engineers needed to train these things into Project Atlas. Um, I tested this. This works on most websites like Amazon, Zillow, eBay, Craigslist, AppSumo, everything. It seems the new compression technique we just discovered gets it down 95%, which is better than zip. It's better than minification. It's amazing. But it basically allows us to automate every single website. So now we can now users can basically help us discover these automations across all websites um, as fast as possible in parallel. So next week, we're publishing a new cheat codes community system that will incentivize users to publish. Um, they'll get recognition. And also, eventually, we can even pay users for uh, the, their discoveries. So you could discover super valuable automations just using language alone, just with a few simple phrases, a sim few simple words, um, and help us build our, our uh, cheat codes, community system, and defensive mode. All right, super excited. Thank you, guys.